Yes. Okay. There we go. Good morning, uh, everyone. Things are going exceptionally well so far this morning. Um, please, for those of you who've been hanging out in the back of the room, if you're doing so because you want to have some place to plug in your computer, you can come closer to us. There are plugs underneath the seats, like maybe every three or four seats. Yeah. So there are basically two, there are four places to, to plug in your computer on each row. So they're kind of on that seat and that seat and under, under those seats. Yeah. So, you know, we're not going to force you, but I think um, it might be easier to see. Yeah, it's easier for us to see you, especially if you have a question at the yeah. back. Yeah. Uh, yeah, otherwise, um, if you have not added your responses yet here to the poll uh, in terms of, of issues that came up with this exercise number three, you're welcome to do that now. And I guess. Um, yeah, how, how did it go? Uh, was, did someone have difficulties in, in doing that? So no difficulties. No difficulties. That's surprising. You are totally different than the group from last year. <laughs> okay, good. But uh, well, hopefully you got help from the assistants. I know that there was even some extra help offered for you, which is really nice. Nice from our from our helpers here. Uh, are there? I mean, do you have any questions or anything like that at this point about the exercise? Anything about for loops or conditional statements that you might like us to to clarify or discuss a bit more? Because it, yeah, yeah oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so this, that, 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 that's a good question, and let's go through that. So there is, uh, well, as you all saw, this, this kind of new, new uh, well, code blocks in, in the exercises. So, so there is this not implemented error. And basically what it says is exactly what it does. So it is kind of an exception or error uh, that the uh, Python interpretive will raise uh, if you haven't taken that away from the code block and basically uh, written your code there. So because we are now using this automatic grading system, uh, so that's basically uh, something that that system throws there in each cell. So it is just for telling you that you should write something into that code block. And if you haven't done anything, and there is still this not implemented error in there. Uh, it basically says to the grading system that, okay, the student did this part, but, but wherever these are still existing in the code, uh, it basically says that you haven't tried. Uh, there are also additional tests. So, so even if there are those kind of things still there, uh, so you will still get points and we have basically how we go through the exercises. So it's not only that we rely on the automatic creating, but we still go through uh, manually, but it helps us to go through uh, a lot of uh, answers from you guys as there are quite many, many people on the course. So it's basically not nothing uh, too special for you uh, to, to kind of understand really what is going on in there, but the important fact is, as it says, that replace that and put your code in, in place. On, on those positions. So that's kind of it. Was there another question? I thought, yeah. Yes, about I tried to do the, like the first one where part four, but I uh, write the phrases when I do the inside the loop. But I, what I want to bring that outside the loop, like in my label that I get the start and get the first one. Yeah, so this is about the, the nested loops exercise, like doing the flag and the, the square. That might be something that we take a look during the pause or after this one, because uh, it takes some time to actually explain what is going on. I think I might have an, kind of an idea uh, what is going on with your code, but let's do so that we take a look at that like uh, during the pause.
Any other questions from from last week's material? As you can imagine, we're not going to uh, forget about for loops and, and conditional statements at this point, but rather you're going to get more and more practice using those things yeah. as we go on. So uh, it's not a big deal if you're not crystal clear on how for loops and conditional statements work at this point. Hopefully you've got the general idea and uh, and then going forward we can practice and, and things yeah. will get uh, more comfortable and, and more familiar for you. Yeah, it's, it's always tricky, especially if you're doing programming for the first time. So it takes some time to actually get into how, how things are done. But exactly like there, there has been a lot of new things now coming for you and there will be still some more, but there will be repetition of the old things more and more as we go on. So don't worry if, if things seem to be a bit difficult at this point, it's, it's totally natural. And, and for example, all of us has experienced exactly the same, so that's just natural. So um, the one other thing I wanted to mention before we go on to the, the lesson for today is uh, we saw the feedback in Slack about um, sometimes the pace at which we're going through the lecture being a bit fast. Please don't be afraid to like raise your hand and just have us slow down or something. Uh, Hendrik and I probably spend an unhealthy amount of time in front of a computer every day and uh, doing things like writing code it just sometimes get going a bit fast. Um, so you know if you're having a hard time keeping up just with how quickly we're typing things we totally don't mind slowing down and it's much better that we do that than you just kind of get further and further behind on trying to keep up with the lesson. So don't feel bad about interrupting us uh, at all. It's really, that I would say it's a welcome yeah. thing to do. Exactly. And there was one point still from the, the comments from, from the poll. So mm -hmm. there was exactly on the, on the last problem or the third <coughs> problem in the exercise. So unfortunately, yes, there was one kind of exact station coordinate point, which was on the same, uh, same point where the, the cutoff was and basically depending how you do uh, or decided to do the conditional statement it could go either to the north or south. Uh, it's my fault so bad instructions so that's something we need to fix now uh, but in terms of the grades and, and so on so it doesn't like uh, if, if the things are otherwise okay and, and you kind of have done things correctly so it doesn't matter is it whether north or south so you will get the full full points from there